Hello guys and welcome. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about Solar Opposites Season 2. Uh, there's been an, an, another teaser that came out earlier this morning. Uh, it's exclusive to IGN, so... So, of course, uh, it's talking a little more about Season 2, when it has, what I think it has in store for the show, stuff like that. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the trailer. Uh, I actually laughed at least four or five times in the trailer, so, so I have high hopes for this season. I think it's going to be so much better than the last. I mean, Season 1 was pretty dang good, but I think Season 2 is just going to be a lot better. It, it's the same like Rick and Morty, you know, see, season, one, season 1 was pretty dang good, and Season 2 was way better and then I, i'm just hoping it doesn't suffer the same fate as rick and morty and then season three and four aren't that good but 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 i think i have hopes that solar opposites will only continue to get better because solar opposites is about uh solar opposites has is more of a serialized like a more story driven show than rick and morty is and that's partly because solar opposites is on streaming whereas rick and morty is still on cable and uh i know rick and morty is leaning more towards uh story-driven arcs, which is good, because I feel like the sitcom thing is a little bit boring, but 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 he, here's hoping that Rick and Morty continues to do that too. So anyways, uh, already less than a year from season one's release, and everyone's favorite Schlorpians are back for another season. Uh, of course, Korva and the gang are ready to head back to Schlorp, but their ship malfunctions and they're stuck under again. We'll get more adventures with the replicants, more of the wall supply, and even the solar opposites even go to jail. And, you know, do other things like go to London and stuff like that, according to the trailer. Uh, I just can't wait for more of their wacky adventures. Uh, of course, if you didn't know, Solar Opposites is from co-creator Justin Roiland of Rick and Morty and executive producer Mike McMahon. Uh, both of them co-created Solar Opposites and both of them are also executive producers on Rick and Morty. And it is produced by Disney's 20th Television. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, the, the, there's also an animatic, which I'll link down below, which you can watch of one of the season two episodes. Uh, the, the, there, there are eight episodes this season. Uh, uh, they're called, they're titled "The Sacred Non-Repeating Number," "The Earth Eraser," "Blake House Device," "The Solar Opposites Almost Get an Xbox," "The Brad Awesome Terrific Raid," "The Apple Pencil Pro," "The Unlikely Demise of Terry's Favorite Shot Glass," and "The Emergency Urbanizer." So, uh, the, the order I said it in might not be the official episode order, but the, this is just a production order. This is just production code order. So, Sacred non repeat Number is episode 9, and Ur Emergency Urbanizer is episode 16. So yeah, the, this is an episode order, uh, but I, I hope it is, because I would like them to stay in production order. They always stay in production order is always better, but, uh, but in the end, it, doesn't really matter too much as long as it doesn't ruin the story. Uh, I think season two is going to be more story driven than the first. Yeah, the first I had episodes air out of order, uh, so so it was a lot more episodic in nature. But I'm hoping that season two is more uh, story driven uh, because you know while I do while I don't mind episodic stuff once in a while, it, I just feel like because it's on streaming, they should take advantage of the fact that they can produce uh, more story driven stuff. And, you know, keep people uh, keep people interested because nowadays people want to see story-driven comedies and shows, as opposed to stuff that you see on Fox that isn't story-driven. It's mostly episodic. Like the Great North is pretty. The Great North is not story, not like it doesn't have an overarching story too much. Uh, I think it kind of does, but at the same time, it doesn't. I and mean, then you have shows like Dunkinville that are just fully episodic shows. So. Yeah, um, pretty much just stay tuned for a review on Season 2. Uh, I'm going to try to ask Hulu if I can get these ahead of time, so I, I have time to properly review them and stuff. Uh, hoping I get it. If not, I'll just wait. I'll watch them all one day, and I'll get the review out as soon as possible. You can expect a close enough review coming out uh, very soon. I won't be able to watch the episodes until this weekend, so because uh, I, I do have an exam, so uh, I will... I know it's coming out tomorrow on the 25th, but I would prefer that I wait until I prefer um, until I wait this weekend. Well, maybe, maybe Friday night I might start it. Yeah, I think Friday night I might start it. Yeah, so if I start Friday night, I should be able to finish season two by Sunday. Uh, get a video up probably by the end of the next week is what I'm thinking. So. 
expect a season two review of Close Enough very soon. I do want to talk a little bit about it. It's mostly just a quick review. So yeah, but anyways, we're going back to Solar Opposites, and uh, I want to know what you think of the trailer. Uh, there's a link in the description, or or what you might hope season two is. Your thoughts on season one, even you can talk about that. So yeah, just let me know in the comments what you think, and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.